My name is Patrick Egan. I'm a Berkeley Online student. I'm currently enrolled in Orchestration 2. Uh, it's the last class in my specialist certificate in orchestration for film and TV. My goal has, has been for years to sort of start doing freelance work in, in film and TV and games. That's been the goal since I was a teenager, really. It's been a long road with a lot of bumps. I went to school in New York when I was 19, so it was a long time ago. I wanted to make it as a session bass player, and I tried, and I went down, and I was not prepared. I left New York defeated like so many people do, and I came back home, and I still played, and I played in, in bands and stuff, and I saw a lot of fun playing music, but I had to take a real job. Basically, during the day, I wouldn't think about work. I would think about getting home and playing music and writing music, and I would picture next year or the year after in five years, you know, what do I want to be doing? It wasn't that, you know, it was, it was playing music and it was writing music. Later on, now that I'm an adult and I found out that you can study at Berkeley Online, uh, my first impression of that were very positive. It was almost overwhelming, really. As soon as I found out that Berkeley had online classes and as soon as I found out that I could go through some of the, especially the film scoring curriculum, I knew that that's what I was going to do. Ben Newhouse is my teacher for Orchestration 2. He was my teacher for Orchestration 1 and also um, scoring for film and television. Understanding, you know, the comedies and, and action films and, and, and a heavier action film and sort of how the masters have done that in the past and boiling down the elements of that has been huge in my development. And now in Orchestration 2, I think the big thing that has helped me is sort of looking at things texturally. So looking at homophonic music, looking at music in two textures, three textures, and now we're into sort of more complicated textures. And so now when I listen to music or I watch a film or even games, you know, you can hear sort of what the texture is. It makes it that much easier to break it down. So it's all just a matter of tools to sort of break down what you're hearing, synthesize it and use it yourself. I guess I would say I've always lacked confidence to sort of just jump in and take a job. But, you know, especially after film and TV scoring with Ben and now Orchestration 2 with Ben, I feel like I could take pretty much any job on. I feel confident that I have the tools to just jump in and, and survive. This year, the goal is to sort of start transitioning into part-time work. There's a lot of independent stuff happening out there, so I think it's a really good time to be doing this sort of thing. Uh, at this point, it's just a matter of becoming available and becoming visible. Even a lot of my friends that I grew up with that are outstanding musicians, you know, the best musicians I've ever known, that went directly to school. They were young and they didn't know what they wanted to do and they didn't have to have that struggle. Going to a nine to five every day and having to have that sort of burn to make it happen no matter what. So I think that people that have had to take a different path that are considering going back to school, you know, do it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter how old you are or whatever. It's the way to go because you have perspective now that a lot of, you know, 18 and 19 year old kids might not have. And you need that perspective to make it in music. It's not easy to do and you kind of need to be out in the real world for a little while to realize that you don't have any other choice. This is what you have to do. I want to be, I want to be writing music and I want to be working with filmmakers and game makers and I want to be doing stuff like that. And the way I get through it and the way I come home after you know a, a 10 hour day or whatever and I, I do two or three hours of work is I just picture that. I just picture sitting in my studio and doing work full time you know and that's that's how I get through it. <laughs>